You have probably heard the term receiver thrown around quite a bit when hearing or reading about guns. All guns have them, and some have more than one, but what is a receiver exactly? A receiver is the component of a firearm that acts as a frame for the other pieces to be set into. The major components need to be set into a main body to work properly. Think of it like a video game controller. You have all the working parts, but without the shell holding them all together, it's pretty much useless. So the receiver of a firearm acts in much the same way. Now, of course, guns can have lots of different parts, so which parts go into the receiver? The receiver of a firearm usually holds the primary parts of the weapon that are needed to make it fire, such as the bolt carrier group, the fire control unit, and the magazine well. The bolt is something we've covered before, but a bolt carrier group consists of all the additional pieces that make the gun fire, eject, and feed cartridges. The main components of a bolt carrier group in the AR-15 are as follows. The bolt. This pushes the cartridges into place and holds them steady so they can be fired without blowing up the gun. The bolt carrier. This is the housing in which the bolt and the other pieces sit. It moves along the inside of the receiver to carry everything back and forth and make the gun function. The firing pin. The firing pin is housed inside the bolt, and when the cartridge is ready to fire and the trigger is pulled, the pin pokes out the face of the bolt and strikes the cartridge's primer, setting it off. The extractor. This is a little claw that hooks onto the rim of a fired cartridge casing and pulls it out of the chamber. This happens once the bolt moves back after firing. The ejector. The ejector is a spring-loaded pin that launches the casing out of the ejection port. Think of it like a little boot that kicks the casings out of the gun. So that's the bolt carrier, but what about the fire control group? The fire control group, or fire control unit, is made up of the trigger mechanism, the hammer, the sear, and the safety selector. The trigger is actually just a lever used to engage and disengage the sear. The sear is a mechanism which holds the hammer under tension, and when the trigger is pulled, the sear disengages and sends the hammer into the firing pin. When the hammer hits the firing pin, the pin is sent out the face of the bolt and into the primer of the cartridge, and the bullet is fired. The bolt carrier group moves backwards and resets the hammer, firing pin, and the sear. The safety selectors are usually pretty straightforward. They're usually activated by a button or a switch, which will physically prevent one or more of the fire control components from being activated, keeping you from shooting the gun off when you don't mean to. The magazine well, or magazine port, is simply the opening in a receiver which receives the magazine and holds it in place, so it's pretty simple. In the U.S., the receiver is typically the part of the gun that is legally considered the actual firearm. Some weapons have two receivers, however, like the AR-15, which has an upper and a lower, though only the lower needs to be serialized, being considered the firearm under U.S. law. However, some weapons don't have serialized receivers, but instead choose to serialize the fire control unit. Sig Sauer sells a standalone fire control unit that can be customized into all sorts of configurations, so that's pretty cool. And those are the basics of receivers and some of the fun stuff that goes on in them. If you want to learn more about the mechanics of different firearms, I recommend checking out the channel Forgotten Weapons. Ian McCollum, the guy that runs the channel, has a ton of videos going in-depth on the history and mechanical function of all sorts of cool guns. So if that sounds nice to you, you should go check him out. And as always, if you want to add or correct anything in this video, please do so in the comments. But that's my time. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Keep learning. Class dismissed.